Thanks for joining me on today's edition of Travel Talk. Um, it is a it is a beautiful September afternoon. I am leaving the 41.36 where um, I had my uh, motorcycle, had that picked up, and uh, set that on. That should already be at the house because I stayed and visited uh, with Melanie and saw the tremendous work that they're doing. It's just beautiful. Oh my goodness, they're working so hard. I'm so proud of them. They are uh, hard working folks and um, it shows. Their efforts, their efforts show greatly, and uh, I couldn't be prouder of them. I took Melanie over some uh, dinner for the kids and her and Gary uh, because, well, you know, she's down with that um, shingles and she's not moving around too awful much. But um, she is getting better, and I'm so grateful for that. She's getting better, and she's a strong woman, and she's going to get through this. And uh, like she said, you know, it's a blessing, actually. If she had, actually, I, I'm the one who said it, but she was saying that she was very lucky to have um, the bed and being able to sleep uh, in, in the downstairs. And I said, well... I said, uh, Mel, if you had to have the shingles, at least God made sure that you had a nice bed and not cramped in that uh, uh, small bed in the uh, fifth wheel. So God is good in all things, folks. In all things, He is good. If, if, um, if we put our trust in Him, right? We put our trust in Him. We look to Him to... Um, sorry. We put our trust in Him, and we look to Him to provide, and we look to Him to heal, and we look to Him uh, to keep our faith strong and not be in fear, trust, right? We look to Him with our trust. Boy, that car was flying by. God is good in all things, and in all things He is good. All the struggles and the trials and temptations that we go through, it's okay. And Melanie's such a good, uh, strong woman of faith, and she has maintained her uh, joyous attitude and her gratefulness and her thankfulness. And it just blesses my heart. It blesses my heart to see uh, to see her be that way. So, my motorcycle is at home waiting. I have to take it in. I'm going to take it into the Harvey Davidson shop, either in Fort Smith or Russellville, and um, get it worked over because it's been sitting. I want uh, everything checked. Moved oil, you know, tires checked. I need everything because I definitely don't want to drop ride it uh, without doing that. So now I'll have to figure out how to get it over there. And um, I pull it, pull a trailer with my truck. Um, I just, uh, I'm not, I haven't learned how to tow. And I told myself that this was going to be the year that I uh, learned to tow. But, but I haven't yet. I haven't yet. So maybe I can get Sam to tow it over there for me. I'll find somehow, some way, we'll get it done. Drop it off. But I really need to clean it, boy. I just was like, oh my goodness, it's filthy. It's been sitting for almost a year uh, there on, on the 41.36. And uh, one thing or another, it's just been put off, put off, put off, getting it to the house. So um, I'm glad I'm finally able to, to get it there because I want to ride. Even if it's just, you know, a short one, two-hour ride, um, I want to, I want to get out, 
What does Anthony call it? Wind therapy. <laughs> I think it'd be. I think it'd be awesome. But um, so that will be in store. Uh, having to get that over there and get it looked over. Um, let's see. I know Melanie and Gary. They're just kicking butt, and uh, Anthony's kicking butt. And their house is just about done now. I mean, they're working on the final. Well, close to the final touches. Very impressive. Um, I knew my children were capable, but my goodness, I I am impressed. Um, it's uh, bottom line, bottom line. I'm impressed, and uh, not that I didn't think they could do it, but it's you know, it, my goodness, it's a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work, a lot of work, and uh, well deserved efforts. Uh, not well deserved. Uh, well, it, it their efforts will be well rewarded. Well, well rewarded efforts in the end. And uh, so, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna fiddle around my yard. And it's uh, already in the afternoon, but I didn't go outside um, too much today at the house. So I think I'll go fiddle around the yard, give my dogs a bath. You need a bath, Hampton? You need a bath? And uh, Max needs a bath. It's their bath day. And I'll go see my duckies and I'll freshen up their water and whatnot. And um, tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow will be a, another beautiful September morning. And um, I don't know. Let's see. Tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to go on Tuesday. I'm checking in with my doctor for those sh that shingles vaccine, and I don't know if, who's had shingles. That you, that it, what, if any of you subscribers have had shingles or known somebody to have shingles, but now that I have known somebody, now I I knew it was a painful situation, and um, I've read about it and things like that. But now that I know someone, unfortunately, it has to be my daughter. I, uh, I've made that determination, but, um, I am, uh, I got a packet for, uh, Kylie's graduation. I have to go through that. Can't believe I get a, oh, my baby is going to be graduating high school. It's, uh, wonderful. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful feeling, but we got a packet, so we're going to pick out what are we going to get. You know, as uh, I know, um, there's some things that she might want to have for a keepsake and things like that over the cap and grant gown, and um, you know those kind of things. And plan. I told her she needs to give some uh, solid consideration to where she'd like to have her um, graduation dinner. We can have it at, at our house. Uh, I really don't want to um, because it's a lot of work and I'd rather enjoy things you know I mean, I'd rather if we didn't have it at the house number one there's no guarantee for the weather number two I'd have it catered because I don't want to do all the work I just don't I'd rather be able to visit and share and plan some celebratory activities you know uh, for Kylie, maybe some funny ones to, you know, goofy funny ones, but, but anyway, um, I'm just about home, so that's pretty much what's on my plate, what's been on my plate, and what's coming up, and it's all good, God is good in all things, now if you, um, if you are, in, if you are, uh, interested, head on over to His Gathering Place YouTube channel. That's my second channel that I have that is a, an encouraging channel and uh, it's designed to encourage and uplift you. Very short videos and to help um, encourage you and build your faith throughout the week. Um, I post um, encouragement videos daily. So uh, check that out if you like, if you want to be part
part of the group. We have our private online group. That link is in the description box for his gathering place videos. That Patreon link, and we'd love to see you. I'd love to have you part of the group, and we're having a good time. So um, we're getting, we're building our faith, encouraging one another, and getting to know each other uh, in our group. And uh, it's wonderful having faith-filled friends. And so. If um, that's something that you might think you might be interested in, go over to the YouTube channel and check out some of the videos and send me an email. His Gathering Place at Yahoo.com. His Gathering Place at Yahoo.com. And I will get you on the list uh, for group um, meetings. Okay? Take care. Remember, look up. Keep looking up. Hang on. There's my motorcycle. All covered up pretty. I'll show her to you when I get her cleaned up, okay? Um, keep looking up. Don't be discouraged. Yes, this is a this is a very uh, trying time that we live in right now in our country. But we know who wins this battle between good and evil. And um, he won't let you down. I promise. He won't let you down. I love you. God loves you. Don't forget. God loves you. And keep fighting that good fight of faith. Now, say it with me. What is a good fight? Say it with me. It's one you win. You're going to win this. Take care. Be blessed. And have a wonderful day. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.